Welcome back to the Mobility Project. Here's what's on tap today. We're going to do the five-way shoulder mobe. Now, I'm not a big fan of just prescribing basic kind of generic vanilla movements. Specifically, one is because there's no context, you know, related to your performance. Two, there's not really kind of good ways for you to hit your corner. So, my caveat for this is make sure that you are kind of doing the necessary informed freestyling and looking for the, the regions and the areas where you're tight. Don't just follow the plan. It may be a tight, different corner for you. But, if you didn't know anything else, didn't know what movements you were going to do, and you just need to take a joint, let's take the shoulder joint, for example, here's a simple way. So here's the, here's the five-way shoulder. Starting one, basic overhead prep. Grab the band, turn the hand up. We're going to go, this is going to be a long one today. It's going to be about two minutes a piece. So maybe 10 minutes of shoulder, maybe thinking 20-minute total rotation. Externally rotate, back yourself down overhead, look for these corners, get into some crazy positions, then contract for five seconds, release, go a little further, contract for five seconds, release, keep turning that external rotation over. Position one. Position two, taking the low grip, <clears throat> just the opposite corner of what you just were, let's flip this up and catch it into that front rack position. So we're going to wind that shoulder up in this position. Again, this would be internally rotated, this is externally rotated, and I want to hold that shoulder in tight and I can just camp out right here. Again, if I can tie the neck in, I'm going to do that too. That's number two. Number three, wind that shoulder up across the chest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load up, externally rotate, block the hand, and then turn and let my scapula get pulled off. And then I'm just going to use my neck as kind of a tensioner, keeping relatively neutral. Press here, big breath, to breathe in back and behind. Number four, same position winding hand up and then turn away and you're going to find man if you've ever read fascial trains any of those things you're going to see that oh you're just one big sheet of connective tissue from your neck all the way to your hands breathe in there hang out number four number five you should probably come back in and this time a little bit of this position and then let's just turn the hand up catch that it's a little bit different iteration of what we've done before then you can tie the neck into that corner back there. So five options. Remember, if I just didn't do anything else and just was like, hey, my shoulder feels better, that's good enough. A joint approach and working upstream and downstream is certainly a cogent uh, uh, application of these, these principles. Make sure you're using your brain too. See you tomorrow.